So hey everyone and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make text just like Neptune in Premiere Pro. So to get started have your clip ready, I've got mine right here from Attack on Titan. So first of all you want to create your text so I'm going to click T on my keyboard and then just highlight where I want my text. In fact highlight it anywhere because we're going to realign it anyway and just put your text in so I'm just going to put Kenny with an exclamation mark. I'm going to use the selection tool to just recenter it so if I just do that, if I just go full screen mode and hold control and also click on the anchor point and then just set it to the middle and then reset its position it's going to be centered right in the middle now first of all what you want to do is select your color so if you click on fill just choose whatever color you want to for now i'm going to choose white and what you want to do next is click on shadow right here usually the shadow is set to something else like brown but set it to black and if you want to just pause the video and copy down my settings for the shadow once you have done that make sure that the text is trimmed down to the length that you want it to be so i want it to end towards the end so i'm going to get rid of the rest now we are going to add a scale so what you want to do is head over to the effect controls keyframe the scale and set it to something high such as 125 move about 10 to 15 keyframes ahead uh, but it depends on what your clip is and then set it back to whatever it was so mine was 100 now head back to the start and what you want to do is just use this handle right here and pull it to the left which will then zoom into the keyframes and then you want to click this little arrow right here next to the stopwatch which is going to bring this graph down and what you want to do now is click on the last keyframe and then you want to pull this handle all the way up not too high and not too low just on the same level as the bar next to it right there as you can see and make sure it's pulled all the way to the left and then let go and it should look like this and now if we do play it back as you can see it scales down next up what you want to do is head towards the beginning of the text and move around five to six keyframes back so one two three four five six what you want to do is head over to the project tab over here uh, where you can usually import all your footage what you want to do is just right click and then head over to new item and then color matte click on ok and then what you want to do is place it over here so i'm just going to drag it on top and trim it to around one frame so now i've got this one frame of just white and what i'm going to do is just place it right here in fact one keyframe back so just here now we are going to create another color mat so just right click anywhere here and then head over to new item color mat ok and then select another color but i'm going to select red drag and drop it and trim it to one frame and then what we want to do is place it over here so there's going to be a white frame and then it's back to normal and then a red frame again now what you want to do is hold alt on your keyboard and highlight both of these color mats i think it's command if you're on mac but if you're on windows then it's alt and while holding it down what you want to do is just drag and drop it right here place the white color mat next to the red one and the uh, red one next to the white one so it should go white and then nothing and then red white red again next up you want to duplicate the text layer that we made so just hold alt on your keyboard and duplicate it move it to the first red color mat right here and trim it to one frame so it's above it now if you head over to the effect controls of the text layer and scroll all the way down you're going to see this you want to untick the uniform scale and what you want to do here is modify vertical scale or horizontal scale i'm going to change the vertical scale to something around 200 and then the horizontal scale to something like 50 next up you want to duplicate this text onto the next frame just like that and for this you want to change the color to black change the vertical scale to 100 and then the horizontal scale to something like 200 duplicate it again onto the next frame change it to something else such as white and for this all you need to do is change the horizontal scale to 50 so now if you go through this as you can see we have our first uh, white color mat it's meant to be like a type of flash effect uh, but if we do keep going as you can see we have this red color mat and then the uh, first text effect then the second and then the third and finally duplicate it one more time change the color to something else such as black and also remove the shadow just like that change both the vertical scale and also the horizontal scale to 125 and now if you do play it back as you can see it looks like this now we need to do one more thing and that's for the end transition so anywhere towards the end of the text what we want to do is just create some gaps simply just make a one frame gap just like that do this a couple of times pick any of the individual frames i have these three right here and i'm going to pick the middle one untick the uniform scale and set the vertical scale to 25 leave it as it is and what you want to do is move on to the final one for this you want to change the horizontal scale to 25 and there you go you have this nice flicker looking transition even though it's not exactly how neptune does it it's quite similar anyways that is it for this video and i hope you did find it helpful if you did then why not drop a like and also subscribe if you're new but have a great day and i will see you in the next video so yeah peace